Tennessee. What's up, guys? JP Moses, <laughs> REITips.com. Welcome. I have a quick tip for you today that's going to be it's going to be applicable to anyone who is selling houses in today's real estate arena. I think you're going to love this one, and uh, it comes to me via email. Uh, let me pull it up here for you. This comes uh, with regards to a website we're all familiar with by now, Zillow. Now, Zillow is not the best place in the world to uh, pull up accurate comps. You probably know that by now, uh, but uh, chances are pretty darn high that anyone who's researching your property for sale, who's looking to buy it, is probably at some point going to stop by Zillow and at least see what Zillow has to say about your property. They're going to look at whatever pictures Zillow happens to have, which a lot of times they pull from satellite images or Google Earth or whatnot, and uh, whatever information Zillow has pulled about your property. So how can you control that information and how could you use it to your advantage? Here's the email I got, a little screen grab of it. Brian Mida, my buddy, I met him at a, a boot camp with uh, Steve Cooks a few years ago. Hi all, came across this tip in regards to Zillow. They allow you to go in and edit descriptions, upload nice looking photos, etc. You can sell your properties as more and more people are using Zillow. Thank you, Brian Mitem. Here's what he's talking about. Check this out. Let's say I have this property at, uh, I don't know, let's say 7201 Bay Hollow Cove. Let's look it up and see what they uh, happen to have for Old Bay Hollow Cove. Okay, boom. We see satellite image. Let's click on the link and uh, look at more specific detailed information about this property. Okay, well here we go. A couple of uh, issues I noticed right away. Number one, it says, as you can see here, no photos available for this property. So the only photo it's given me is a satellite image. And I happen to know that's not the right property. Actually, this is 72201 <laughs> Bay Hollow Cove. So that's not even an accurate satellite image. And is this really the image I want people to see who are you know, looking to potentially buy this house from me? No, I want them to see the nicest possible image. Um, I also happen to know that this house is over 1,900 square feet, so the square footage information is wrong. So what I can do, thanks Brian for this tip, is I can actually log into Zillow. Now I'm going to have to prove that I own this property uh, by verifying the name of the owner from a randomly drawn up list of potential owner names. Um, but I can go down here and hit the little edit move my mouse over the edit and I can edit the home facts I can edit the description I can even add my own photos you know let's say maybe it did pull an image from uh, uh, from the assessors website that wasn't a satellite image but maybe the grass was overgrown that day obviously you want to put your best possible foot forward for any potential buyers and almost always your potential buyers are going to look you up on Zillow before they make a buying decision so uh, it's best that you integrate into your strategy for each and every property that before you list it, you go in and do a quick uh, reconnaissance to see what Zillow has to say and uh, what kind of presentation they're making and edit the photo to put your nice, pretty Realtor.com photo and make sure your information is correct. Uh, now, I, I mentioned this is a tip that came to me uh, via my buddy Brian. Uh, let me just tell you a little bit about Brian, a little hat tip to Brian. Uh, he is, where did he go? Hey, there's me. Um, here we go. Brian, sorry, there's a plane going by overhead. <laughs> Brian Mitem, uh, I met him at Steve Cook's uh, rehabbing event, I believe it was, a couple of years ago, maybe back in 06, 07. Uh, as you can see, he's a specialist in short sales. Uh, he does have a rental portfolio. He also is a transactional funder. Uh, so Brian's a real cool cat to know. He is one of a dozen of us who are a part of this private group we call the Flip VIPs. Uh, now, for those of you who don't know, uh, you actually we have something called Ask the Flip VIPs. Uh, I'll put a link here on the blog post. But uh, basically, uh, once a month, every one of us gets on the phone and answers questions in our areas of expertise, and it's a, a mere thirty-nine dollars a month. So, if it's something you're interested in, I'll uh, I'll put a link to this page so you can check it out. But more than anything, I just wanted to show you Brian, who passed this along to me. Thank you, my friend. Hat tip to you. Thanks for the tip. Everyone, integrate that into your strategy for each and every property you do. Take care. JP with REI Tips, out.